Welcome to Dairy Judging 101. I am Dr. Katherine Knowlton, a professor in the Department of Dairy Science at Virginia Tech. We are creating a sequence of short recordings covering the basics of judging dairy cattle. To complement those, we're putting together some practice classes. The first eight slides will present the cows in the class alone and together. Then we show you what our placing would be with cuts and how we would take notes on the class. Finally, we'll present an example set of reasons, either by me or by a student from Virginia Tech or another team. We hope this helps you. So there's your class. Let's call them Jersey four-year-olds. You can toggle back through these pictures as you finish your placing and take notes if you're going to do reasons on them, but don't go forward from here until you have your placing and your notes complete. Just a reminder, keep an eye on the clock and time yourself. In a contest, 4-H and FFA students generally have 15 minutes to place the class and sometimes an extra three minutes to finish their notes if it's a reasons class. Generally, college kids will have 12 minutes or 15 if it's a reasons class. As you prepare your reasons, two reminders. The first is that your reasons should be no longer than about two minutes. The second is, in a contest, you're not going to be allowed to use your notes. You are going to have to be able to give these reasons from memory. And I know that's difficult when you're just beginning, but it's best to always practice that way. You don't want to come to rely on your notes when you can't use them in competition. This is how we would place the class with our cuts. If you don't agree with the placing or want to adjust the cuts a little bit, that's perfectly fine with me. Our purpose is just to provide you some classes to practice with. Now, let's hear a set of reasons on this class. I placed this class of Jersey four-year-old cows four, one, two, three. Four wins because she combines the best udder in the class with a big open rib. Four places over one because of her advantages in body capacity. Four is fuller in the heart than one and is deeper in both fore and rear rib. Four has more spring to her rib than one. Also, four is straighter over the top and a more stylish cow. 
floor is straighter in the hock when viewed from the side, and she carries her legs more squarely beneath her. In addition, four is more level on the floor of her udder and has more veins in her udder. I grant that one is longer in the body. Next, one places second and over the dark colored two because of her obvious advantages in mammary system. One has a stronger cleft and a much closer teat placement. One is higher and wider in her rear udder attachment with more bloom to her udder, and one is more level on the floor of the udder than two. Moreover, one is cleaner than two. She's less throaty and is sharper down over the top. I grant that two carries her legs a bit more squarely beneath her, and she is a deeper ribbed cow. Finally, I place two over the shallow bodied three because of her advantage in dairy strength. Two is longer in the neck and cleaner over the ribs and rump. Two has more depth to her fore and rear rib and more spring to her barrel than three. In addition, two is a taller cow and is straighter down over the top. I grant that three is more correct in the set to her hind legs, is more level on the utter floor, and closer in the front teat placement. While I appreciate three's sound feet and legs, I left her last because she lacks the openness and cleanliness to place any higher. It is for these reasons I place these Jersey four-year-old cows four, one, two, three.